Did you fall behind in your studies? That's okay. I'll give you my three simple steps to always make sure you catch up and make it seem like you never missed a day. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe so you can get even more advice on how to manage your med school studies. All right, let's get started. My name is Julio Ambriz. I'm a second year medical student and I've tutored hundreds of students on how to improve their med school life with my tips and tricks that I learned not only from my personal experience, but also from all my other friends and peers. So quick question, how many times have you fallen behind in medical school? Two times? Five times? A hundred times? I really hope it's not a hundred times. Either way, it's been proven time and time again, if you fall behind in medical school without a plan, 95% of students can never catch up. So here's the first step on how to fall behind with confidence. Step number one, before you even think about touching that missed material, you must finish that day's information first. If you try and do the old material first, you'll most definitely not be able to catch up sufficiently and most likely fall even further behind. Step number two, organize your missed work. I want you to write out all the material that you've actually missed into a small little checklist. This way you know exactly what you need to work on each day. By doing this, you can systematically start from the first day that you missed all the way up to the present day. That way, you're starting from your oldest material, and the way that med school typically works is they build off of that old material, use it as a foundation, and teach you more complicated things as lectures go on. So this way, you're actually getting the fundamentals first and then moving on to more difficult topics. Plus, as you do this, you are doing many accomplishments, which will boost your productivity throughout your study sessions. Remember to recognize the little wins. If you like these first two steps, go ahead and click on the like button at the bottom of the video to show some love. Let's move to a more difficult step. Step three, your approach. By this step, you finished all of today's material and created a to-do list of things you need to get done. Now, you need to focus on how to actually do the review. There are several ways to do this depending on your situation. If you've already been exposed to the information, then do not, I repeat, do not reread or rewatch your lectures. It is a waste of time for you. It won't be helpful for you in the long run. So what I suggest is to quickly skim the lecture instead, looking for only the high yield points and writing those down as a part of your review. You wanna focus on things that you don't understand and those main concept ideas. Now, if you run into the situation where you're looking over the lecture and skimming through it and you're like, I don't understand any of this, that's okay. What I want you to do from that point is, I want you to go ahead and write down the main subjects and the main topics that this lecture is talking about or material is talking about, and then maybe write down one or two details. But you need to think big picture when you're doing this review. You have very little time. You gotta make it count. Now, for those of you that are still watching, first of all, thank you. And you get a bonus tip. Practice questions. I want you to go ahead and start trying to do practice questions over the material you just finished. That way, when you are going over those practice questions, you can see where your weak spots are and what you didn't understand. Remember, when you do practice questions, you need to review the questions. You're wasting questions if you aren't reviewing your questions after you finish them. If you don't have practice questions for the material you went over, here's a sweet little trick. Pull out first aid. First aid should have the cliff notes for like all the medical lectures. So you can read over that and try to get a good idea of what's going on. Again, you wanna make it as short as possible and go for big ideas. You don't have a lot of time. Remember, don't use first aid to completely override your lecture. Use it as a supplemental source. All right, that was a lot of information. So let's go ahead and compact that information for you. So first step, I want you to finish everything that you had for that day. Step number two, I want you to go ahead and list out all the material that you've missed so far so you can know what you need to do. Step number three is your approach. You need to think big picture and very, very few details. If you follow these steps, you'll catch up in no time. Just make sure to tailor these steps to your classes and your lectures because every medical school is different. And it's okay if you fall behind sometimes. Just don't make it a habit and you'll have a healthier study life. To be honest, I'm excited to hear back from you guys to see how this material helped you. Comment below what worked for you and what didn't work for you. Also, tell me how you do it. How do you keep up and how do you catch up when you fall behind? I'm excited to hear it. If you like this video, next week I'm gonna teach you guys how to master your lectures. So go ahead and click on the subscribe button and don't miss out. Don't forget guys, you never know what you'll learn when you think medical. See you next time.